More women have come forward to the Times with new allegations about the actor and comedian turned YouTuber Russell Brand. They follow the joint investigation by the Sunday Times, the Times and Channel 4 dispatches into Russell Brand. The paper says the new allegations will now be rigorously checked. Brand has been accused of rape, sexual assaults and emotional abuse during a seven-year period at the height of his fame. He strenuously denied the allegations and said his relationships have all been consensual. Meanwhile, the BBC, Channel 4 and a production company all say they're investigating. We're joined now by Marion Jones, an investigative journalist who fell out with the BBC for wanting to investigate Jimmy Savile. He's a former editor of the Bureau of Investigative Journalism and worked at Panorama and Newsnight. Morning to you, Marion. Good morning. Uh, tell us your reaction to this story and how it's, how it's developing. Well, what's interesting to me is that over the last 36 hours, I've been contacted by numerous women who worked for BBC, ITV, for Channel 4, for Indies, saying that this is a much, much wider problem. I mean, I'd hope that after Savile, after Weinstein, uh, that the industry would sort itself out. It plainly hasn't. Uh, one woman contacted me and said that she complained about a powerful person at the BBC who was harassing three women. Uh, in the end, the BBC protected that individual and the three women had to leave. She says that, you know, she thought about throwing herself under a bus. She's sorted herself out now. Uh, she's fine. She's happy. But I've had similar stories from ITV, from Indies, from across this industry. It's much wider than just Russell Brand. Is this the cult of the, the star problem, the talent as it's used? That's the phrase that's used in the industry, isn't it? That, that don't, they're the talent and they're the ones that drive things and, and they're the ones that have to be appeased. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the person who is the face of that channel, uh, like yourself, uh, are given um, far more uh, leeway than the people behind the scenes, the producers, the researchers camera crews, you know, the techies, all those people, they're not really listened to. Some people will be following this and saying they get annoyed when they hear the phrase open secret, that, that they hear, well, well, if it's an open secret, why is it not just something that's, that's reported, that's dealt with? Why is it so hard to get these stories out into the open, Marion? Because you had a hell of a battle with Jimmy Savile. You'll know exactly what goes on here. Yeah, I mean, with Jimmy Savile, people tried to uh, out him from the 60s on. Uh, and a lot of that is to do with our legal uh, situation. I'm, I'm going to be talking about that in Parliament later today, uh, where our libel laws basically allowed Jimmy Savile. I mean, he had three levels of protection. He had the protection from his charity work, which meant that it was very difficult to go after him. Uh, he had protection from the most powerful people in the land, Prince Charles, whatever happened to him, uh, Margaret Thatcher. And then he had the protection of the law, where he had very, very powerful lawyers who could threaten journalists. Uh, and I, I expect that the same thing has happened. You know, I don't know that for sure, but I, I would be very surprised if Russell Brand hadn't deployed lawyers to try and stop over the years these stories actually coming out. What do you say to the... Have you, I'm sure you've seen on social media the sort of conspiracy th theorists that say this is an attempt to get at him because of his political views. What, what, uh, and therefore, weirdly, a story which should be about, which I think it wasn't necessarily true of Jimmy Savile, actually. It should be about straightforward claims of abuse of power and how institutions allow problems to occur. That's the thing you've just been talking about. Somehow also gets thrown into a culture war about certain people's beliefs and therefore the mainstream out to get him. What do you, what do you make of that as a, as a distraction in all of this? Well, I mean, it was a deliberate ploy by him to put this out on his media channel before the story broke. Uh, he was aided hugely by the likes of Elon Musk, one of the most powerful people in the world, uh, backing his conspiracy theory. Uh, you know, we know Musk has uh, a grudge against all existing media mm. uh, and perhaps uh, a dislike of uh, proper... Um, fact-checking and all the things that we try to build into our reporting when we do stuff, and Times does as well. I've worked with the Sunday Times. All that stuff is sort of pushed to one side. It's about opinion. You know, there are no facts anymore. Uh, you know, is Russell Brand an abuser or not? Well, there's some pretty strong evidence that the Times and dispatches have uncovered, but that can be thrown to one side because you want to embrace a conspiracy theory which says 
that Big Pharma or somebody like that is behind this. They've put dispatches and the times up to it. I don't believe that for a second. No, it's, it's, it's always ridiculous even to dignify we're talking about it. Uh, before you go then, what happens next then, Marion? Do you think that you'll be able to report with names some of these people who you're now hearing about? There, there could be a... Uh, a, a, you know, Me Too has been around for a while, but there's maybe never been a proper Me Too moment in the entertainment industry, uh, perhaps, in this country. Do you think that will happen? Do you think you'll be able to, to name some names? Uh, except, of course, for Savile. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm investigating somebody at the moment in a slightly different field, but a very powerful player. Um, there will be serious legal problems with that. Uh, and we'll have to see whether or not that can happen. Uh, and, you know, our libel laws are a major problem with this. I mean, that's why Savile got away with dozens of rapes of mainly underage girls, hundreds of sexual assaults. Fundamentally, that was about our legal system. We need to do something about that. Yeah, and that's not been changed at any time soon. And you ultimately need big organisations. You know, the Times has a lot of money. Channel 4 has a lot of money. But there's a risk in all of this. And we don't know where this story ends up. But whenever you're saying, we believe these women we're putting these women's claims forward that's a risk isn't it that's a risk that someone has got to decide to take it's a huge risk because usually these people the really big abusers target people who are vulnerable and whose testimony would not stand up in court uh you know if we believe what the times and dispatch are saying a 16 year old is a 16 year old really going to be believed by a court uh, you know, how are they going to stand up to a KC in court, ripping them apart? Uh, it's uh, they, they, these abusers target people who are very difficult then to actually use as evidence in court. So it's an amazing job by the Times uh, and by dispatches. Uh, this notion, just, you know, you were about the BBC and Savile, but this notion that if true, the claim here is, and you can tell what you make of this claim, Russell Brand sends a BBC car to a school to pick up a 16-year-old girl to take her to his house. That has the, that has the whiff... I mean, he, he denies the allegations against him. We have to keep reiterating that point. But that has the very whiff of the Savile stuff that you uncovered, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, and I always found... Uh, we had a driver on Newsnight called Dave, uh, the only driver I know who had a, a leaving video made for him. And he was like having your own intelligence service, really. He talked to all the other BBC drivers... You found out what was going on across the organisation. Those people know a hell of a lot. Uh, and, you know, if I was doing an investigation into this, the drivers would be some of the first people I would talk to. And, yes, you know, the idea that uh, the BBC and we're also told uh, uh, Russell Brand's management company knew about this and were saying to him, don't be photographed in public with that uh, schoolgirl. Uh, I think, you know, that says a hell of a lot. It does indeed. It's uh, that that little detail does just still have the ability to 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 to, to shock you. I think, Marion, great to speak to you. Thank you for taking the time. That's Marion Jones there. He's the investigative journalist who uh, wanted to investigate Jimmy Savile, help bring all that into uh, the public domain.